Games Workshop have announced they're about to release a brand new Chaos Space Marine Codex. And there's been a couple of uh, bits of information they've shared with us already. The first seems to be that they're referring to Chaos Space Marines, the troops, as legionaries, legionaries now. So we might see them listed as such in the book. But the biggest thing is the stat lines changing. Now I'll tell you now the stats. First of all, you're going to get two rules instead of one, which was expected. You're going to get three attacks instead of one, which wasn't expected. And you're going to get leadership eight instead of leadership seven. So them alone for normal troops is going to be a big deal. Um, your aspiring sorcerer, not special, but you know, aspiring champion or whatever they call them, he's going to be plus one attacks, probably plus one leadership, I guess. All right, so that's a new stat line. Now, if we go back to the data sheet and ignore the fact how we're massively overpowered and just focus on chaos, um, you've got armor of contempt. Basically, you, it's a minus one on the armor penetration, right? If you fire a heretic Astartes unit and a few other units. So they're, they're automatically going to get, um, you know, a better save from that. So a minus one like a heavy bolter would, might, if it's still minus one, I can't remember now. So but a, heavy, a minus one weapon would be zero, AP zero now. So that makes it a lot easier to defend against. Now, um, indirect fire weapons, they're at minus one to hit and uh, get plus one on the save. So if you've got a direct fire weapon that's AP minus one, or AP minus two, it's going to lose a amount of minus one on the AP straight away to be reduce it to zero or one. And then the other opponent's going, the opponent's going to get a plus one on their armor serve, which effectively wipes out an AP minus two. Between those two there, an AP minus two weapon is effectively nullified. It's neutered, if it's an indirect fire weapon that's doing it. So it does make case space music a lot harder to get rid of. Uh, a lot harder to get rid of. It tends to change things into what I call number of shots per second instead of um, one good shot. Because even even a, if you if you could have an indirect fire melter bomb, right, and with minus four AP, even that would be the equivalent of a minus two weapon now. You know, after all the save modifiers and uh, armor penetration modifiers are applied, so it would be um, you know it makes them hard to get rid of. Now, just to just to cover some things, these new rules apply to Heretic Astartes, right? When I say Heretic Astartes, this includes these guys. These will benefit from the new rule as well, right? It says because um, if the stat line here, you know, Heretic Astartes in the balance sheet is a plus one or minus on the penetration, these get already get a, a plus one on their save. If it's a one damage weapon, now they're going to get a, the equivalent of a minus one on the armor penetration, right? For anything that's shooting at them. So if you've got like a strength two weapon with a minus what well, a minus one weapon with two damage, it's now a minus zero weapon. You know, all it needs is to reduce the damage a bit further, and you've got a one damage weapon, and they get uh, all his dust rule applies. So. Anyway, what does the um, Heretic Status rule apply to? Well, if I can find the page. Pretty much everything you've got, except for Zangos. It even applies to cultists. Cultists are Heretic Astartes. Right? Which means cultists get an, um, their armor penetration rule reduced by one. Which I'm pretty sure is an error, and if it hasn't already been changed, it will be. It'll have that removed from their stats. I'm pretty. If they do, it'll be an error on the Games Workshop part. But anyway, everything from Chaos Sorcerers, you know, Exalted Sorcerers, uh, what about Demons, Demon Princes, yeah, even they. Um, can you guess what else is? I'm going, have, have a wild guess. What would you least expect to be a Heretic Astartes? Well, technically, if you go by the law, it is Heretic Astartes. But, uh, anyway, where the hell is it? I've lost it. 
I've lost Fluffy. Where are you, Fluffy? Here we go, Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. Basically, um, Zeech once um, played a few tricks. He had uh, 999 tasks to be performed by somebody, and then he could get the power of an entire planet. Anyhow, when he did it, he turned into a vortex beast. <laughs> so it's it was Zeech made him into a vortex beast. But anyway, um, the uh, Mutalith Vortex Beast is also classed as Heretic Astartes in this book. Now remember, right, this book is already out. This book is already in ninth edition. Right? Heretic Astartes is already written in these. So these all get an armor penetration value, right, of uh, minus one. They get the basic, they get the armor of contempt rule. Now, um, it doesn't say there... But it says it didn't apply without weapons of a storm shield, uh, models of a first. Uh, no, it applies to everything. So this applies to even tanks. By the looks of it, unless I'm reading that wrong, and that means chaos predators, mutant beasts, uh, chaos spawn. Not screamers, land raiders, obviously. Forge beings will get it. Defiles will get it, Morlefins will get it, Rhinos will get it, Heldrakes will get it. Basically, a lot of the things in this book get that Armour of Contempt rule. Um, but they don't get everything else. Uh, they don't get the free attacks and stuff and the leadership changes that the Care Space Marines get, which is weird because they are Care Space Marines. But um, so I think there's swings and roundabouts here. There's a danger that when they when they release the Chaos Codex and they start neutering things and removing things that seem deemed to be good ideas, that they're going to do it to that and make that you know, space well, Thousand Suns uncompetitive. So we we'll have to see how it works out anyway. But it does shed new light on the dirty sheet because let's face it, the dirty sheet does nothing to neuter the Tau. The tower themselves are actually massively overpowered right now, and I mean massively. Um, giving Space Marines two two wounds, because they don't get two wounds. I don't think they do anywhere. So it's, uh, they're still on one, aren't they? Yeah, they're still on one wound. Ruben Marines still get one wound. But um, it does nothing to new to the stronger things, but it does quite a lot for the Chaos Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines are... Um, Looking quite good, especially against indirect fire weapons where they get a plus one on their armor save and the attack is at minus one to hit. So combine that with the fact that any armor penetration is at, is uh, going to be minus one as well. You know, if it's two, it'd be one, that kind of thing. Then this bit here makes a massive change and then you have the two wounds from the new codex. Yeah, and the leadership changes, because leadership changes matter. And then, yeah, you, you, you're doing quite well there, I think, for a Space Marine. So we'll have to see what they're going to do. Um, but, yeah, I think it's a good move in the right direction. Um, making them a bit different from Space Marines is important, I think. There's also, I've noticed, there's a, there's a new unit on the Games Workshop site, if I can find it. Let's just go back to it. Um, store Games Workshop. I can't remember what they call it. I've never, I mean, I'm not really, I've been too busy working to actually look too deeply into some of these things. But um, I noticed it when I was just browsing for something. And it's a 40k unit, and it's not currently, I think it's already been released actually. It's not currently uh, available to order. Not currently available. Where are you, little one? It's like a companion to Fluffy. Oh, there's loads of this junk. Loads. Loads and loads and loads. It's going back. Don't these are new new releases. There we go. Uh, a Harus uh, Looks. It, it could, I fancy it could be. A, yeah, it looks like it might be a Tyranid. But it looks an awful lot like Fluffy, the Mutalith Beast. An awful lot. Very similar uh, structure with the head changed and maybe the carapace changed. So yeah, probably started out as that model and they changed it on the computer. 
<laughs> anyway, yeah, ignore me on that one. That's just that looks like a tremid. Anyhow, I'm gonna keep an eye on this one because I run a chaos army, and I am thinking of running a word bearers army. I know they're not that exciting, but I actually like the idea of them. Right, so but they are pretty average, you know, pretty average. So anyhow, I'll see you in the next one, and uh, let's see what they do with the berserkers. <laughs>